Hey, what's going on guys? This is James Loves Music, and today we're going to be talking about the sixth studio album by The Strokes, The New Abnormal. Let's get into it. The New Abnormal is the first studio album The Strokes have put out since 2013's Come Down Machine. Now, Come Down Machine, it's not a bad album, but it's not their best. Their first two albums, however, are two of the best albums I have ever heard, okay? This new album comes as a third compared to those two. I love this new album. There's a reason I wore this, the, the Fantano yellow flannel today, because I'm a copy of him. I'm a ripoff, and I like the album a lot. Uh, the first two singles, At the Door and Bad Decisions, what hooked me for the album, especially At the Door, uh, it was more like The Voids, uh, one project by, it's a side project by the from and Julian Casablancas, and I, w I was very excited for that. The the sort of, the, the buzzy synth, the and then when he gets to the line in the song, struck me like a chord when the guitars come in, which was, that was cool. Uh, and the, the lack of percussion on this out on the, this song. <laughs> there's, not, there's percussion on the album, but that was cool. And then bad decisions was um uh, uh had a lot of '80s influence. It's very similar to a Billy Idol song. I think Billy Idol was a co-writer on this song though, so I might be wrong about that. But I know what I'm not wrong about is. Rick Rubin producing this album, you know, the bearded, the bearded king of production, love him, uh, songs such as the opener, the, adult, the adults are talking, and the closer, Ode to the Mets, are really cool, Ode to the Mets, funny thing, Julian Casablancas has always wanted to write a song about the Mets, and he finally did, uh, my favorite song on the album, though, is in between the two singles, Bad Decisions and At the Door, it's Eternal Summer. Just the experimentation on this song blows me away. Julian's vocal performance is brilliant. And that all being said, I can name this entire album brilliant. I'm going to go ahead and give this album a 5 out of 5. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. And yeah, talk to you later.